And first I'm gonna f feed my wife like our wedding night because it was uh <laughs> today's our anniversary. <laughs> Woo! Oh, happy anniversary! 25 years! No, wow. I'm, I'm so full of it. Full of it. <laughs> the best products and best service from people who really care and love what they do. Mountain State Overland is proudly supported by OK Four Wheel Drive. 2007 Toyota Tundra, 202,000 miles, and we got the the camper in 2015. And today we added to the to the paint with some mud flames and some pinstriping from the local branches. Yeah, yeah. there you go. They've been reliable. I have to, I've had a lot of Toyotas. And I bought this one from my mechanic. You know, I was happy the way he maintained cars. I only had 20,000 miles on it when I bought it. And um, so I put 180,000 miles plus on it. Mostly camping on the beach. Um, this is our first overlanding trip. And so far it did really well. So what I've done to it, I um, added these bumpers, rock sliders, airbags in the back for um, to hold the camper, the weight. E-rated uh, e tires just for the weight. This camper comes off pretty easily. There are um, telescopic legs that attach here, and I can just lift up the camper and drive out from underneath it. Hey, this thing yeah. is sweet. Yeah. So it's got a queen size bed over the up up, up on top. Then mm -hmm. I actually put a gel foam mattress up there, so uh -huh. it's all about being cushy for me. You know, plenty of room, so my myself, my wife, and the dog sleep in there. So you have some party lights, which was all those last night. Oh, you saw those? Yeah, yeah, I got some party lights in there. Yeah. So I got a solar panel up on top. I got a, a, a roof vent. It's got four windows and a louvered window on the on the right side, on the passenger side. I think you said you have a dual battery system too, Yeah, right? dual battery system under here. It's mostly to recharge things, power some lights. There's some LED lights inside, LED lights on the outside. We put up, we can plug a fan into it, you know, when it gets really hot. 200, 200 yeah. miles. We go everywhere with it, yeah. What would you change about this camper if you could change anything? So for myself, I would put another solar panel on top and I would put a second roof vent with an electric fan that's available for it. Uh -huh. That would be the only, the only thing. Otherwise, we're pretty happy with it. Without, you know, you can get these with kitchens, bathrooms all built inside, but uh, it's nice they, they the weigh space. a lot. Yeah, yeah it's space. nice. Exactly. We have more space. Yeah. What, what's the latest edition? <laughs> that you're the latest gonna... edition. Definitely recommend it because I, I, I did not know where I was going and if you get in trouble, these guys will get you out of it because that's their job. <laughs> you said the most important thing. Oh, the most about... important one, yeah. No farms, no beer. What's the point of overlanding if you don't have beer at the end? And now we're uh, camping on a farm, so it's just very apropos. Awesome. So thanks for, <laughs> thanks for taking me You're around welcome, your man. truck and yeah, yeah. the inside. Let's go check out what Danya's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go because I'm hungry too. I'm cooking dinner. I'm cooking sausage and peppers for 15 people. I've never cooked sausage and peppers for that many people before. I mean, that looks pretty pretty good. Well, I hope so. It's my camp kitchen. We take this with us when we go camping. And it's got two burners on it. And I can fit a uh, cast iron griddle over the top. Runs on propane. Little, little propane bottles. Um, you can also, you know, put a, a larger propane bottle on it, too. Um, and the two side tables just, just kind of stack on each other and nest down and then the whole thing is comes in this square. How long have you had this camp kitchen? Um, I think probably this is our fourth summer with it. I love that everything is contained on it. Um, underneath here there's a storage area. It's got drawers that you can open up. Underneath there we can put all the dishes, the dish bucket, and then just put it in the back of the camper. Thanks for giving us a tour of your camp kitchen. My pleasure. <laughs>